Hey everybody, hi, it's Rob Fortney Jr. from the Amazon Gorillas. I want to welcome you to the Amazon Gorillas tribe of bite-sized, information-filled, 10, count them, 10 full minutes of Amazon FBA training. Today, I'm going to share two of the 15 specific attributes that the Gorillas tribe members have found that product champions all have in common, or at least most of them do. The Gorillas tribe created a simple scorecard with 15 attributes that helps us quickly decide if a product deserves more investigation. It means that we're not spending our time out looking at products that ultimately aren't going to be viable in the end. So that's why we call this the initial viability test. It saves us tons and tons of time and it helps us create confidence before we move forward and spend a lot of wasted time looking for products that are definitely not viable. The Gorillas, if you haven't heard of the Gorillas before, uh, the Gorillas are a group of Amazon business owners uh, that's been meeting weekly for educational workshops and information sharing uh, for more than two years. We did over 200 hours of free training videos last year, and this happens to be part of one of those training videos that we do uh, when we share these videos for free on our YouTube channel at Amazon Gorillas. So the version of the Super Product Selector attributes, and that's what we like to call it, the Super Product Selector, I'm sharing with you today was just updated and it's what's currently working for the Gorillas Tribe members right now. These two attributes that I'm going to share with you today are part of what we think of the 15 are the most meaningful characteristics of product champions. And we found them to increase our odds of success and to reduce the risk that we take dramatically. And that's what we're all looking to do, which is to have the least amount of risk and have the most possibility of success. And so I'm gonna share these with you right now. If you're looking for a product and wanna gain more confidence in what great products are, then you need to come to the uh, Gorillas Free webinar, How to Find a Product in One Day. Well, we're gonna walk through each one of these 15 attributes and explain them in detail, just like the two I'm gonna share with you. Plus, I'm going to give you this entire Super Product Selector scorecard that you can have a copy yourself so you can score your own products when you're sitting at your desk and you're trying to put together what attributes actually matter. So what's happened to most of us is, is that we're looking at a lot of different uh, products and you know we look at sales, we look at the volume, we look at how many reviews they have, the size. Well, what do all of those things matter if we don't have some way to evaluate it? So that's what this scorecard's going to give you today. It's going to give you a couple of the things that you look for so that before you go call sourcing agents, before you go call and get on a phone or send an email to someone in China, you need to know whether you're wasting your time. If this product's not viable, there's no sense in finding that later down the road. So what this scorecard's going to do is allow you to get there quicker. So hey, if you want to uh, watch us walk through all 15 attributes in detail, plus we're going to give you the entire uh, Gorillas um, tribe members strategy that we're using right now to be successful with. So hey, if you uh, see the registration box, it's here, there, or somewhere here, uh, go ahead and register for that, how to find a product in one day. So let's get to it. Here's the IVT scorecard, two of those attributes that we think are ultra important when you're deciding to pick a product. So we don't want to swim with sharks. We want to avoid picking super competitive products where you have to be in the top 10% to be successful. Now, what I call those are products that that they have super competitive uh, amount of people trying to uh, compete for that first page, the second page, even the third page. You know, products like French press coffee uh, pots and then uh, grill gloves and all of these products that um, have tons and tons of sales in them. But to think that we could just get a product, put it up there and that it's going to sell 10 products a day and it's going to sell 300 units a month is kind of... Uh, like I said, buying an Amazon lottery ticket. So what our strategy is, is to try to get back, um, you know, try to uh, find products that are selling between two and $5,000 a month so it can make us 500 to $1,000 a month in profit so that then we can have a substantial uh, consistent income over time. So that's where, um, why we're always looking for products um, that have less than 200 competitors. Because any more than that, you're getting into products where there's too many people vying for that top spot, which then increases the amount of pay-per-click it's going to cost. It increases all of your cost. And because we feel that price is a super important thing, it's going to allow you to not be able to generally lower the price because usually with 500 competitors, there's a there's just no room because so many people are competing for that product that the price continues to drop and drop. And so then you're always competing on only price and you don't have any reason to separate yourself uh, from anybody else. 
And so what we want to do is, is have you diversify your risk and penetrate these soft niche markets. And if you can sell multiple products in different niches or maybe even the same niche if they're not very competitive and, and look for products that have lower sales volume and lower amounts of competition. We want to be a big fish in a pond full of small fish, right? We don't want to be sharks, um, swimming with the sharks actually. We don't want to be swimming with uh, sharks as guppy fish. So what we want to do is we want to be the um, small guy, but who's really good at what we do. We want to have great listings. We want to have amazing pictures. So we talk about those things um, in, in the webinar that we're going to do. And, and we're going to show you how to um, stand out from the crowd, how to evaluate other people's products. And those are all things that we need to know. So I'll be, I'm super excited to be able to share those things in this webinar, how you can find a product in one day. So what we're looking for is a category rank between 10,000 and 50,000. We're looking for gold nuggets. Um, a BSR below 10,000 may be too competitive and above 50,000 there may not be enough sales. Now, most people would think this, this is crazy because, you, oh, they're all telling you and you listen to these webinars, these podcasts. And what I think is, is that they're encouraging people to get into these super competitive environments and think that, oh, I can just put a product up on Amazon and amazing, it's going to sell 10 a day. And does it happen for some people? Yes, but that's a lottery ticket. It doesn't happen for most people. So we try to get away from those products. We try to look for products above 10,000. Think there's not a lot of people looking for them. So when we go into these environments, what we can do is, is we can compete very quickly. We don't have to have tons of reviews so we can rank quicker. So when we're actually looking at these products, we're looking at products that are actually selling the amount of money that we want to do, which is $2,000 a month, which produces $600 a month in our income, which guess what? Pays a lot of bills at the house. So the second thing that we want to do is um, when we're trying to find out what products are viable, what we want to do is we want to make sure that we find products that have the right kind of prices. So when we're searching, we don't need to look for products below $17. And truthfully, we don't want to look for products below $20 if you can help it. Now, if it's a very inexpensive item and it's a unique niche and there's not a lot of people selling it, well then, you know, if you can make 4 or $5 per unit, then I, I, you know, I'm okay with that. But we also don't want to go above $50 because your initial offering may cost you too much money. And so when you're trying to find your initial product, you know, we want to do is we want to get your product into Amazon. We want to get a small MOQ in there and we want to test it with pay-per-click to see whether or not this product sells before we go buy a thousand or two thousand items. It's what we call our test and then find out whether or not that product's going to sell and reboot. If we reboot, we either, we either move on and get higher amounts of that, of that product in stock or we lower the price and we get rid of it and we go find again so we're not losing our money. So it gives us a much safer approach. Thanks for watching this Gorilla's 10 minute Amazon training. If you are interested in any more of the Gorilla's training, please visit us at 123amazon.net. Now go out and make something happen. You can do this. You can get started on your own Amazon business. I can tell you this, people no smarter than you, that's right, no smarter than you are starting Amazon businesses every day. It's your time, it's your day. Go out, I'll see you inside the Amazon seller's jungle.